this is the beginning of a probably pretty short series on carbon monoxide and heat exchanger testing. But first, one of the things I wanted to talk about before we get into this is the gas furnace. The modern gas furnace is absolutely the most efficient and safest heating device we have out there. There is nothing that's close. I have worked on wood, coal, oil, pellet stoves, heat pumps, electric furnaces, boilers. Of course boilers have different fuels, but when I look at the gas furnace, whether forced air or boiler, it is the safest heating appliance out there. Now when I used to work on 80 percenters, the old natural draft 80 percenters, I mean those things could roll out flame out the front, there was no protection at all, they could dump products of combustion into the structure, there were all kinds of things these things did. Um, if they had a cracked heat exchanger, it didn't make any difference, it was making CO, happy camper, it's just going to do it. No protection at all. But these newer gas furnaces, there are so many safeties on them, to get a gas furnace that produces CO is unusual. I won't say it doesn't happen because it does happen. There's things that manufacturers don't at least as yet control, so there are there is room for improvement. But I've seen a lot of guys saying, oh gosh, these new furnaces are the heat exchangers are too thin and they're all gonna burn up in 15 years and you know, I've listened to that for over 30 years because of the thin heat exchanger gas appliance came out in the late 80s. And there were failures. Some of the first ones failed constantly, just like everything else when you change it. And there were problems, but they are pretty well worked out. Now understand, I'm not, a, I'm not selling gas furnaces. I'm selling training. I don't have a horse in this race. Just saying, in my opinion, these are very safe appliances. That said, being able to find cracks and heat exchangers and rusted out places and things like that is harder now. The heat exchangers are different than they used to be, so it's harder to find. With a flashlight in hand, I could find most any crack. A couple exceptions, of course, always. Since we have these in-shot burners, they made it much more complicated. The furnace does safety out if you have a heat exchanger problem in most cases, but it's a little more complicated to figure out whether that heat exchanger is bad or not, and that's what this series is about, coming up with ways to use carbon monoxide detectors and oxygen detectors and the like to find out if an appliance has a problem. Next video, we're gonna get started on uh, on seal.